Hello, everybody. Um, so today I'm going to be packing and shipping an order. I'm going to be um, packing up a hair growth oil duo. Sorry, I have to um, do this live on my webcam because I do not apparently, um, I'm not eligible for the going live on my mobile device. I don't know if it's because I'm a small YouTuber, but yeah, so if you just came in, I'm going to be packing and shipping an order. So for those of you who don't know, I do have a natural hair care line called King's Hair Care, and I sell natural hair care products. So the two products that I have are my hair growth oil, and I do have a hair growth butter. Um, I don't have one with, with me now because I'm only packaging um, a hair growth oil um, order right now, so... I'm going to be doing that, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, or if you guys have any video suggestions, let me know. So I'm just going to be taking you guys through the process. So the first thing that I do is I put gloves on. And I already washed my hands and everything. So I just put gloves on. Um, let me see if I can show you guys the, okay, so this is my bubble mailer, it's pink, it goes with my business color, um, so yeah, so now I'm just going to go to my website, and I'm going to print out a shipping label, actually a packing slip, I'm going to do that first. So this person, she lives in New York. She ordered for me yesterday. So, yeah. So comment if you guys knew I had a business. Comment if you didn't know. I'm just kind of curious if you everyone knows or if you didn't know. Um, so I am going to be doing a um, video later. Um, I'm going to be uploading a hygiene video, a hygiene haul. So look out for that. That's going to be going up today. So now it says it's generating. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's generating the packing slip. I'm going to start going um, live more. I'm going to try to go live here and live on my Instagram. You ship quickly. Thank you. <laughs> I try to ship either the same day or the next day. So, like, if you ordered from me, if you ordered from me on a day before 3 o'clock, your order is going to be shipped that same day. But if you ordered from me after 3, um, your order will be shipped the next day just because I need to. Um, have time to go to the post office and package your order and even if I only have like two orders sometimes that actually does take a lot of time so um, so yeah I try to get the orders out very quickly and usually people who order for me will get their order in the same week um, it usually will be in less than seven days that you'll get your order majority of the time depending on how close you live Oh, I have to plug in my printer. <laughs> it was plugged in. It just wasn't turned on. I'm like, why isn't it coming up? So I'm going to show you guys my thank you cards. So these are my thank you cards. It just has my logo on it. And it's just a picture. And then on the back, I just say, thank you for your order. And I give them a discount code. So if you order from me, you will get a discount code with your order that you can use for your next purchase. And I also have my thank you cards, not my thank you cards, my business cards. Um, and this is what they look like. It says Kinks Hair Care. And then I have like um, a design on the side. I tried to do that 
so that it would look like hair um, since it's a hair business. And then on the back, it just has more information like my social medias. And I usually will give one of these out with every order. All right, so now it's printing. All right, I just sent it to the printer. So, so yeah, um, follow me on um, Instagram. I post on Instagram and on Facebook two to three times a day. So let me see if I can pin my social media. I'm gonna write it on here. I don't want it to be capitalized. But... Um, and one of the cool things is yesterday, I don't know if you guys um, watch Aslia Williams, but her mom followed me on my business page yesterday. And I was really surprised to see that. I was like, oh my God, yes. So um, so yeah, if you guys comment, comment on your favorite um, YouTubers, posts, and you know, network, reach out to people, go into people's DMs. Uh, you never know who is going to see your comment and who might follow you based off of your networking. So that's a, a little tip if you have a business. Um, so yeah, so this is the person's packing slip. Um, let me just make sure that I cover her information, but you can't really see. So on here, I'm just going to write, thank you. And then I'm just going to fold this up and put this in her, I'm just gonna fold it up and put it in her bubble mailer. And um, yeah, so one of the things I also wanted to talk about is um, if you order from me, um, if you order from me, make sure that you double check your, I'm gonna put this in, this business card in here. Make sure you double check your information. So make sure that your phone number is correct when you put it in and make sure your email address is correct when you enter it on my website. Because if you don't have the correct information, then um, you're not going to get an email confirmation and you're not going to get updates, shipping updates. So make sure you double check before you press confirm order. Um, because that's kind of what happened with this specific order. She um, um, didn't enter in her right phone number, so I had to go in and edit it. So um, confirmation. All right, so now I'm just gonna wrap these in bubble wrap. So I'll be right back. You guys are so quiet, ask me a question. <laughs> Do you have any questions about my channel, about my business? Are you guys thinking about ordering? Have you ordered? We can talk, it's fine. Okay, so. Yes, definitely follow me, guys. I do post a lot. I'm very active on my Instagram more than I am on YouTube. So I think my next live, I'm definitely going to have to go live on, um, on Instagram. It's just a little bit more intimidating on Instagram just because I do have, like, almost a 1,000 followers on my business page now. So I know that it would just be, like, a lot of people. Actually, I don't, actually, that doesn't necessarily mean there will be a lot of people that will go on it, but it just seems like a little bit more intimidating. And I feel more comfortable on YouTube um, because YouTube sees my face more often, but on my business page, it's more so just um, me taking pictures of the product. So, so we'll see. I'm probably going to try to do that soon. Um, and then I also start going live on Facebook as well, just to just get engagement, engage with people and stuff like that. Okay, so yeah, so the hair growth oil is in a glass dropper. So I make sure that I bubble wrap it. Um, 
just so that it doesn't break while it's in transit. And this bubble mailer has bubble lined, but I just feel like you should bubble wrap it as well. Just so you don't have any issues. So I put one oil in there and now I'm going to grab her other one and I'm going to do the same thing. So I had a $10 sale. So this person took advantage of the dollar sale. I do announce my sales to my email subscribers and to people who follow me um, on Instagram and Facebook. I don't really come on um, YouTube to tell people about my sales, which I probably should. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, I should probably let my YouTube um, subscribers know. So, which I probably should. I was thinking about that today. I'm like, I should probably let my YouTube um, subscribers know. So, um, next time I have a sale, I am going to probably hop on a live and just post it and save the live just so that people can see it, um, just so that more people know about it. But definitely subscribe to my newsletter because I do send out a lot of sales on there. And, um, more uh, more sales get sent out through, to the email subscribers than people who follow me on my main page because I try to give them like exclusive discounts because they they are subscribed. So you should definitely follow. You should definitely um, sign up for the newsletter if you um, are wanting to catch a sale. But my products are you know affordable even without a sale. So. So, so these are, this one is done. I'm going to tape it a little bit more. So, all right. So both of those are in there. Now I'm just going to write her thank you card. Um, I like to do handwritten notes just to let everyone know that I'm really appreciative of their order. So I'm just going to do that. Really. So I'll say like, thank you for your order. And then I'll put the person's name. And then I'll say, I really appreciate your support. Um, let's see. Two. You know what? I'm going to rewrite this. Um, just because I don't like to put I. I like to put we. Um, because it is a business. I don't want to say I, I, I. Um, so I'm going to rewrite hers. It's getting kind of hot in here. Let me turn this heat off. Ooh. Thank you for your order. This part takes, I feel like, the longest.
also usually put um, a scripture. So I'll put like um, a Bible verse um, at the bottom. So this Bible verse that I'm sharing with her is going to be Numbers 6, chapter, actually, number 6, verse 24 through 26. And that one is, may the Lord bless you and keep you, may his face shine upon you um, and give you peace. Um, so I did that one. and um, So that's pretty much it. So it says, thank you for your order. I put the person's name. We truly appreciate your support and hope you enjoy your products. We can't wait to see your results. Tag us to be featured and enjoy 10% off your next purchase. And then I put her coupon code. So that goes inside. And um, I also like to add just some paper shred. And I'll put that on top just to give it just a little bit of decoration. Um, I think people really like that to look inside. They say it's cute. A lot of people have said, oh, your um, packaging is really cute. So, and then after that, I just weigh the item. And just see how much this um, package weighs. So I, it weighs about nine ounces. Let me just fix this. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. Okay, so it says 9.3. This was more heavy than I expected it to be. So it's going to be a little bit. Well, she already paid, but we'll see. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be like $4 or so. All right. So then I just go into... Um, I use Pirate Ship to ship my orders. Pirate Ship is a um, website that you can go in if you have a business or if you don't have a business, you can, if you just wanted to ship something and just do it from home, it's a great way to do that. And they give you cheaper rates. So then using, you know, any other um, postage carrier. So I'm going to log in. I'm just doing it on my phone just because I have to do the live um Actually, you know what? Maybe it'll be easier. I don't know. Actually, I'll just do it on my phone just to make it easier. Um, but I usually do it on my laptop but because I'm live. Um, I have to do it on my phone. So I'm logging in and um, all I have to do is just enter in the dimensions of the package. But since I'm, website, I'm just going to import from my website and it will automatically pop up her order. And then once I weigh it, put the information in, I'll buy the shipping label. And then once it's bought, I'll print it out. And then at the moment that I click buy, the customer will get either a text saying that their order was shipped or an email telling them that their order was shipped. So I like that it like does everything for me and I don't have to like worry about sending out email confirmations because that would be kind of stressful and a lot of work but this makes it easier and I do use um, Shopify I don't know if I told you guys that I use Shopify some people use Wix some people use GoDaddy um, it kind of depends on your budget and what you're looking for um, originally I was going to do GoDaddy but then I was like okay well a lot of people say that for e-commerce it's better to just use Shopify so that's why I went with Shopify so I'm clicking get rates and I'm going to see how much this is going to cost. Oh, so yeah, about $4, $3.97. So that's not bad. And it's, yeah. So she should get this in a few days. So I just said um, print label. So printing the label, I'm just going to download it and print it to my printer right now. Yep. So, um, so yeah, this is basically the last step and then I'm going to be going to the post office. So this took me about 20 minutes. So 20 minutes for every order that kind of, 
I'm sure my, my time will go down eventually, but you know, my business launched in September, so I'm sure I'll get more used to it, but it does take time just having to wrap it in bubble wrap, handwriting the notes, so, but I like handwriting the notes. I feel like it adds a personal touch. So I have our shipping label here, so I'm just gonna cut it out and then take it to her package. And then I'm going to head to the post office because it's Saturday and post, the post office closes at 12 o'clock. Um, and a tip that I realized, so I used to tape, tape down my shipping labels with like regular tape, but it lifts a lot. So if you have um, packing tape um, like this, I would recommend taping down your shipping labels with those just because um, you won't have to with it lifting and coming off. So I'm just going to take this off. And I'm just going to fold it down like that. And um, I do do one more thing. So I take the fragile stickers. I usually do two for bubble mailers. So I'll do one right at the top of the um, package just so that the... Um, delivery man or woman will see it and then I do it on the back right where this is just so one will tamper with it so on the back and then on the front so now I'm putting our shipping label on and I'm just going to tape it down so I'm going to be ending this live pretty soon so I don't know if you guys want to ask me. I'm going to save this live so anyone who wasn't able to join will be able to watch it later on. It's hard to grab the tape because I have gloves on. But I'm just going to – I'm taking out my gloves just because I already – her package is already in enclosed, so – and I need to get this tape off. Um, and the post – Postage people, they don't wear gloves when they're shipping out orders. So I'm just doing this just so that I can grab the tape because you're going to need your nails because it's, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so this live is going to be ending in a few minutes. So if you have anything you wanted to ask me, speak now or forever hold your peace until the next live. Uh, if you guys have any um, suggestions on times I should go live or like, how many times a week I should go live, comment down below in this live or when you watch it, just because then I can see your suggestions on what times would work for better, more people because there's not many people on here right now. And I would love to have a live that was, um, you know, obviously interact. I would love to interact with you guys. So let me know. But yeah, this is my first live on my channel, and I've had my channel for two years. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I just never really knew what to talk about, but I feel like when I'm packaging orders, it's kind of like, I can just talk, take you guys through the process and like talk a little bit about my business. But yeah, these hair growth oil I was using during my hair growth challenge, and my hair was growing pretty fast, and so now I'm selling it just so that other people can, you know, try it out for themselves and just see you know, the length that they get and everything like that. This tape is kind of annoying me. But also, um, I get my packing tape from Dollar Tree. Um, you definitely, I recommend it just because they give you a lot for a dollar. Um, and if you were to buy, like, I think I mentioned this in one video. Stop this at Dollar Tree. It comes with six refillable 
So all you have to do is just buy this little, what is this called? The tape holder once and then buy this for a dollar and you have six refills versus keep buying this multiple times. It just saves you so much money. And then this tape at like a regular store is like two to three dollars, but you can buy one for a dollar. So definitely go to Dollar Tree. I find so many amazing things there that I use for my business and it only cost me a dollar. So just thought I'd let you guys know. All right. So her order is all set and I'm dropping this off at the post office. So I'm going to end in a few minutes. So if you have any questions, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Five, four, three, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, guys, so I'm going to end here. Um, I don't think I have anything else I wanted to update you guys on. Um, I'm actually going to, I should have did this earlier. I don't know why I didn't. I'm going to put my website in the chat. And I'm also going to put my website on this. I'm going to save this and post this to my um, channel. And I'm also going to link it in the description box so that whoever watches this later can go check out my site. So at King's Hair Care on IG and Facebook. And if you go on my Instagram or my Facebook, my um, website is linked in the bio. And then um, I just put the website in here. King's Hair Care, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, so um, look out for my hygiene video. It's going up today. Um, and I have other vlogs that I wanted to upload as well. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to try to be more consistent with lives and I'm going to try to go live on Instagram and Facebook and just to interact and engage more with you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next live.